Good to talk uh, about track limits since we're going to Laguna. What's that? <laughs> I said good to be talking about track limits when we go to Laguna. Oh. Because, uh, yeah. yeah. That's then we'd be, still a thing. Yeah. I'm still working on that. Yeah, we're still working on it. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if we want to start chatting about some of the new stuff coming, I, I would be I, happy I to dive we, in. I think we can. Um, so you guys know when we do a, a, an update, it's not just a car pack, right? We have all sorts of features that we've been putting into the game, especially over the last few years. Uh, for the last few months in particular with Forza Motorsport 7. Um, July is no different. July have, is no different. Of course, we have some great cars. We have not one but two spotlight cars coming up in July. We'll show those off a little bit later. Fantastic ones, too. Fantastic cars. I mean, cars. seriously I fantastic. If you guys mm -hmm. are blown away by, the, by this car pack, just wait till we, we show off the two free yeah, one spotlight of them's cars. Been for, for a very, very, very long time. And free. So yes. you just got to play the game. So don't worry. We'll get to that. We're going to get to the new stuff. But, Chris, um, some important changes coming to Forza Motorsport mm -hmm. 7 um, with how people collect cars in the game. Tell us about that. Yeah, so in the July update that's coming out next week, I believe it's the 10th, mm -hmm. the 10th. Um, one of the biggest things that, um, uh, that we're, we're changing this time around, uh, this is going to affect everyone and affect even FRC, uh, Forza Race Series, uh, Championship, and um, all the hoppers and everything like that. Uh, all of the cars that have been previously locked away uh, within career progression in some way um, will now be fully unlocked for a car purchase all throughout the game. Wow. So, um, so let me be clear about this. The Forza Edition cars, or the FE cars, will still be locked behind some type of progression rewards and that right. sort of thing. But every single other car in the game that was previously locked behind some progression criteria, like finishing this race in the, but with this criteria or doing something within campaign, um, they will now be all unlocked for purchase. Mm -hmm. um, there's still a car tier collection um, progression system there that uh, one, I think once you hit uh, collection tier 5, you can basically buy all the legendary cars. Right. That, that takes maybe a half an hour of play. Um, and cars will still cost in-game credits. That's right. You that's still have right. to purchase them. That's right. We, we don't have tokens. We don't have anything like that. Now. Right. Uh, like, how yes. do I get to this point? Um, th this has been one of the biggest things that people have been complaining about um, since the game came out. And, and we, we've heard you guys for the longest time. And we've just tried to figure out ways to make this work. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we, we've looked at the economy. We've looked at all the other effects in the game. And, and uh, we, you know, um, after looking at all the, the other knock-on effects that are going to happen, uh, we yeah, it's it's going to be unlocked for everyone um, and for all of the progression that was used to. I'm sorry, all the cars that used to be locked. I mean, it's all there. Yep. Cool. Come July 10th. So, um, and, I, and I mentioned this before, this affects things like hoppers. Right. Right. Before we wouldn't put up a hopper, um, like a custom made hopper or even things with Forza Race Championship. So we, we would not put some uh, some car that was locked behind progression because we couldn't guarantee that anyone had that car. Right. But now that they're all unlocked, we can have, um, you know, it's, a, I think, I believe 118 cars or mm -hmm. so um, that are now unlocked for, for purchasing. Um, that's going to affect everything. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see those cars everywhere now. You'll see them in Forza RC. That's um, awesome. So, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time, that the team's been wanting to do for the longest time, um, and we're finally doing it. Um, and one of the biggest things about this change is now all these cars are available. Yeah. Um, what about the money? <laughs> right. What about the ability to get them? I need some money them? now, I Chris. need some money, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that's what we're, we're looking at, all these ways to basically juice credits into the, the economy in the next couple months. So um, we have a lot of, of additional news um, coming next week, the week after, even a month from now, yeah. as, as this kind of pertains to what the economy looks like, how we're gifting credits to everyone, how um, the first couple hours of play, the first week of play, the first two weeks, how that all looks in terms of uh, car acquisition. It's going to be dramatically different. I mean, basically night and day from, uh, from when we started. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, massive change for us. Um, and uh, really looking forward to see how the community responds to that. I love that because it's exactly one of the big things the community has been talking about. Why can't I get my hands on this car right. that you put in the game? Right. Why are you putting it behind a Forza-thon event? Why are you putting it behind a Rivals event? Yes, and um, uh, we used to have some of those things behind price grades. Right. So uh, one of the changes that is coming along with this, this pack, uh, I'm sorry, this, uh, this CU, um, is that all cars will now be removed from price grades. You will not be able to get a single car from a price grade anymore going forward. Uh, it's all direct purchase. It'll all just be, hey, I've got the money. 
I'm going to buy that car. Everything's available. You can buy the cars you want to buy, drive the cars you want to drive. It's great news. Like the Volkswagen bus. The bus. Yes, the VW bus. <laughs> Made me wait so yeah, long for that. You <laughs> meanie. Time, right? Yes. <laughs> Although there are a couple yeah, well, other cars. I, well, I no, remember. it was a specialty dealer at one point. Oh, yes. Just got into specialty dealer. Recently. So we're, we also yeah. are changing up how specialty dealer is going to be working. We'll have more news about that uh, one that goes live. Um, but all, obviously, if one of the reasons why you go to specialty dealer was okay. you can only find the cars there. Well, yeah. obviously, now they're unlocked. Well, We'll be changing up what that looks cool. like. Yeah. So, question about from Screamies: Did you just kill off Forzathons? We did not kill <coughs> off Forzathons. Actually, we're we investing. did not kill off Specialty Dealer. Those things are still going to exist in the game. That's right. Um, the funny thing about that is actually it's the opposite. Right. Uh, we're, we're investing more and more in the Forzathons. As, as I was talking about with credit rewards and and that thing, sort of thing going forward with all of these car unlocks. I need some cash. Right. I need some credits. Uh, you'll actually start seeing some Forzathons with credit rewards um, that'll kind of be up all the time evergreen right. um, and that'll help kind of juice the system with a bunch of new credits so that'll help a lot and forza edition cars will still be in there so so here's the thing um i, I did see a couple questions around uh forza edition cars mm -hmm. um being able to be purchased or whatnot and how that works and i'll answer that in just a sec as well okay. as some of the unicorn cars so i'll address those two things right now great um forza edition cars will not be purchasable directly we will not offer them up in any other way they will be given out via events uh, they will be given out uh, for completing certain things in campaign. Um, so they're special cars. They're not our list of you know, almost 800 cars now. Right. That, that, these fourth edition cars are super, super special, and those things you guys are going to have to earn. There are a bunch of events, and, and uh, those are kind of badges of honor. They're special, special cars. Um, so they won't be up, up for available, availability in the uh, specialty dealer or things like that. Right. Um, which brings me to the, the unicorn cars. I, I think someone actually specifically called out unicorn cars. Mm -hmm. um, we've called unicorn cars cars that don't show up in the car list. They're not there, but people know that they're there. Right, they're there. But they're, they're, there. They're, they're, they're invisible. <laughs> uh, they're unicorns. Um, in fact, I, I've, it's funny. Um, the car that I drive, my car, yeah. which is a, a 2007 BMW M Coupe. Okay. Uh, the 2008 Z4M is one of the unicorns. That's right. Um, that will remain a unicorn. Um, not because it's my car and you can't have it. <laughs> I actually wanted it the other way because uh, I would like to drive my car in my game. Um, but uh, there are still a couple of unicorns that will be out there. Um, and that is one of them. And uh, there'll be a, a bunch more events around those things. So they'll, they'll be much more in the wild and... and uh, They'll be more accessible. More available. And yes. Unicorn Cars evolved, has been a part of Forza since Absolutely. I've been here. Yeah. So, uh, so, yes, I'm glad to hear that uh, we are unlocking a bunch of cars, making them available. People want to see these cars. They want to play them. But there'll still be some special stuff that you got to earn. That's right. Um, and that's really where most of these Forza Edition cars will, uh, will, will live and why they're there. And, and uh, we'll actually, as, as we've been talking about Forza Edition cars, we've been investing a lot more in the future of Forza Edition cars and what that looks like. So Great. more to talk about that. More to talk about. And Chris, uh, you were going to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm reading through both uh, tw Twitch and Mixer chat. And I just wanted to, to address some of those questions. Sure. Specifically, there's some confusion around you know, the, our terminology around mm -hmm. lock cars and unicorn cars and that sort of thing. I just want to be really clear. Yep. The lock cars are mostly the cars that were, um, if you go and play the career mode, uh, if you finish a certain series or meet certain criteria in this series or that sort of thing, um, you will sometimes be rewarded with a car. Yep. Um, and a lot of those cars are the ones that people will just want to go and race and were locked because you, you haven't completed that race or that series or whatever that was within career. All of those cars are unlocked now. Is yep. that like the F40 Competizione? Yeah, absolutely. Which I've been wanting to drive in this week's league, but I yep. can't because I haven't got to that part of the game. See, there you saying go. on yep. July 10th when the league is over. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> there goes the time. <laughs> but I get it. Oh, no, that's cool, though. There's cars yeah. like that. Yes, yeah. cars like that. Absolutely. Right. And then unicorn cars, um, yes, there are only two right now. And that is correct. I actually saw someone call that out. It is the BMW and the MG. MG. That's, that's right. right. That's Alan's car. That's, Al that's, that's the boss's Alan's car. car. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for that clarification. <laughs> So, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just looking at chat here. Uh, we got uh, track limits and drift questions. Track limits, you know, we're yeah. still working on it, guys. Um, we yeah, will have an update soon. That's right. Um, I mean, we have so many updates, even so, I, I, a lot of questions around expansions and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Um, look, we, we are shipping some of the neediest 
DLC, expansions, CU, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. This month, next month, the month after, they're all bigger than we've ever shipped before. That's right. Uh, it, it, there's just so many new features coming out even just this next week. Yep. Um, yep. And uh, yeah, we'll be talking about those, a lot of those shortly. We talked about the car unlocks, that's one of the major things. Yep. Um, of course, our, our, our whole new Spotlight program, um, with all of these new free cars, this this is this is just a fantastic month with Porsche. Yeah. Uh, this car, and the, the the next one we'll be talking about. Uh, we have a lot of new events for them. We'll be lighting up hoppers and, and leagues and uh, some leaderboards around them. So that'll be yep. awesome. Um, but yeah, so new new limit lines and um, new limits in general. New limits in general. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the new limits, the new visualizations of all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, the wipes, the wiping of all the leader. Well, not really the wiping of. Leader but the addition of Time Attack, um, and that all coming back, uh, that, that's lighting up super soon. Super, super soon. Um, right. but, uh, but in particular, I did want to talk to, I, I've seen so many people asking, and I'm, I hear you guys, uh, asking about things like uh, drift angle upgrades, the drift kits, and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so we've taken a lot of the changes that, uh, that Horizon's been putting in, and we've, um, we've integrated a lot of these new physics changes. Um, so uh, we're pretty sure. Don't don't 100% quote me on this because it's not quite through cert yet. Mm -hmm. um, but um, but next month, uh, August, not July, August. We're, we're I'm rubbing my hands in, in anticipation. In future, um, that's when we're looking to light up things like uh, all of the, the new drift uh, integrations, along with uh, the new scoring around the drift kits. Yep. And I, I did want to confirm one thing since we're asking about details, and sure. I do want to be detail oriented. Um, the drift kit will allow you to, it, it's very similar to what, what they've done in Horizon. We've taken a lot of those changes. Um, it's, it has to do with stance, it has to do with um, drift uh, angle. Um, we actually allow you to, uh, to upgrade and change, it, it's a, you can actually change how much the max uh, angle you want up to 60 degrees. Wow. So that's where we're going right that's now. Crazy. And we, we have taken some of those Horizon changes that allow you to go back and forth from, um, from lock to lock quicker. Yep. Um, it makes the whole uh, drifting experience a lot more accessible uh, and delivering to a, um, a tons of, of the drift community what they've been looking for. Uh, and I, I can't wait because it, it feels so good. It oh, feels man. so good. Such good news. I hope you guys appreciate that. We should be very clear. That's not that part of not July. Yeah. It's coming very soon, but it is not part of the July update. Yes. Uh, so what is in the but July update? This yes. free Porsche. But yes. this free Porsche it is. is. Yes, yeah, this absolutely. is. Absolutely. Uh, one thing we didn't mention, Chris, is um, is uh, we've got a new option for lobby hosts. Oh now. yes, that's Let's right. Let's talk about that. Um, so uh, we've been investing a whole lot in our multiplayer, right? Uh, and nice. as you guys know, there's been a ton of new new updates into multiplayer the last you know three or four CUs. Yep. Um, this one comes with the ability for all lobby hosts to uh, kick anyone from the mm -hmm. from the lobby. Um, so that should help um, private lobbies to... Let's be clear. During the middle of a race. During, I'm sorry. During the middle of a race. Right. That is correct. Um, so it should help uh, mitigate some of the uh, uh, well, the griefing that happens. Yeah. So uh, you've always been able to vote people out of That's lobbies. Correct. But now if you're a private lobby host, in the middle of a race, if somebody's acting up... Get out of here. Boot them immediately. So if you're a lobby host, you now will have that power with the July update. One more way we're trying to make the multiplayer experience better mm -hmm. before race regulations get here, That's before right. those new track limits That's get right. here. We're continuously trying to make that a little bit better mm -hmm. for everyone. Remind people how much free stuff you're getting this, this month. Man. I mean, if you have a car pass... Wow. You are getting... Uh, well, and you get these, you get this Porsche and the, and the Pig without a car pass. That's right. Correct? These, and spotlight. you're getting the two Porsches for free, <laughs> the, the 917 and this GT3 RS. And the other thing, Chris, is that, you know, we, you, you called it Porsche Spotlight Month. We've got all sorts of things for you to do in these cars, too. So, yeah, it, it's, it, we're not just going to give away free cars and have nothing to do with them other than just go and race in multiplayer. Right. We actually are lighting up a ton of new events, um, and we've been doing this with all of our Spotlight program. That's mm -hmm. the whole point. Um, build deeper experiences for players that get these free cars. Yep. That's what Spotlight's all about. So when these things go live, there's going to be a bunch of, of hoppers, uh, rivals events, uh, leagues, forts-a-thons, um, everywhere in the game that you can go, we're going to have something to do with these, with these two cars. Yep. Um, it's going to be a, a great month of, of Porsche, and can't wait to get that 917 out there. Uh, just listen to we, we, Chris, I know we're seeing a lot of questions yes. about drag. We've oh, talked yeah. about drag. Um, that's a feature that we introduced on our Inside Xbox mm -hmm. appearance in May. 
a lot of people are curious about when that's coming. Yes. Uh, um, it's going to debut as a single player feature. Single player only for right. when it first launches. Right. That is correct. So we're calling it Experimental Drag for a reason. Uh, it'll live alongside our current drag mode. And um, it's got a whole... N we've talked about those features before, so I'm not going to go in too much detail around all the new drag features, but it, it is a fully new, robust drag experience, which we will be lighting up in the next couple of months. I've right. seen it. It's cool. yeah, it's, yeah, it's awesome. It, it is, um, we have everyone in the studio playing it right now. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's the drag mode that we've always wanted to make. Uh, and once again, it will start out as an experimental drag mode, single player only, and then we will be continuing adding features going forward. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I know you guys are curious. I know you want to play it. I want to play it as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have played it, but I want to play it on retail just mm -hmm. like you guys want to play it. Um, I, wish I, I wish I had a date that I could tell you that it's coming tomorrow or something like that, but rest assured that yes. the whole team is working very hard across all aspects of this game, including that experimental drag feature, including the drift features that Chris was talking about. All these features are works in progress. We're making as much... <coughs> Uh, progress as quickly as we can and as soon as they're ready to go out you'll see it here on Forza Monthly right before it goes out to the public so but the uh, th good thing is these are coming these they are, are things, coming these are things we are working on it's yes. not just a dream that a great uh, version of drag is coming it's mm -hmm. not just a dream that drift improvements are coming these are happening we've announced them now we have to do it that's right <laughs> yeah. we're on the hook now yeah we um I, I just want to re reiterate this message I, I know other people have said this before um but uh and the entire team, 100%. The entire Forza Motorsport team right now is, is working on Forza Motorsport 7. That's right. What that means is we're not going off making Forza Motorsport 8. Mm -hmm. We're actually not going off and making a grand new expansion. What we're doing is investing in the motorsport experience that you guys have right now, mm -hmm. which makes it just better for everyone, right? Which means that... If you have an entire team working on making the game better, it's just going to get better and better and better and better. And we're doing it all for free and all just listening to the community, making things better. And that's where all of these new features are coming from. Uh, and investing in the modes that we have, expanding things outward, and making a deep, robust motorsport game. Yeah. That's really what we're all, we're all about right now. So I hear you guys in terms of expansions. And... We are actively looking at all different ways of increasing the content. I mean, obviously, we, we're, we have cars and cars and cars, and we're building deeper events and experiences around those cars. And I hear you guys. Mm. We're looking at tracks. We're looking at um, all sorts of other content expansions, quote-unquote expansions. Right. Um, but I look at every month as an expansion for us. Mm. Uh, every month for us is really about building new experiences, a deeper and more robust FM7. And we, we hear the community. This, yeah. is, this is what we're doing right now.